Hi everyone, this is the gas walkthrough for February 21st. The puzzle is called Basketball Shoes by Bill Murphy. It is a Renban quadruple Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some purple lines. And along the purple lines, we must have a consecutive run of digits, but they don't have to be in any particular order. So this could be something like six, three, five, four. That would be fine because we have all of the digits from three to six. We can't skip a digit though. This has most of the digits from three to seven, but it's missing a five. So this is not a consecutive run. Then we have some circles with digits in them. And the circle tells you that the digits in the circle must appear in one of the four cells around the circle. When we have all four digits given in the circle, that means we know exactly what digits are in those four cells. But when we don't, we know five and nine must appear in these four cells somewhere, but we don't know anything about the other two digits. So those are the rules. We're going to start in the corners. Because we have quadruples with four digits in them, but we also have two cell Ren man lines. And a two cell Ren man line means these two digits have to be consecutive, otherwise, they don't form a consecutive set of digits. Of one, two, four, and six, the only pair of digits that is consecutive is one, two. So the other two cells are four, six. For this quad, the only pair of digits that are consecutive is six, seven, leaving two and nine in the other cells. Here, the only consecutive pair of digits is eight, nine. And here, the consecutive pair of digits is three, four. And now we're going to use these pairs to resolve each other. So we have a one, two pair here. That means this can't be two. So this is nine, two. We have a four, six pair. This can't be six, so this is seven, six. We have a six here, four, six. We have a nine, eight, nine. We have an eight, one, eight. We have four, three, four, four, six, four, and then one, two, one. So that resolves all of the corners immediately. Some of these cells are also on a two cell line, just with a, a cell outside of the quad. So we can fill in the possibilities for these. Four can only go next to three and five. Two is next to one or three. Six is next to five or seven. Eight is next to seven or nine. And now this quad is a little interesting because we need five and eight somewhere in these four cells, but we've ruled two of them out. Neither of these cells contain five or eight. So our five, eight must go here. And we know the order because of the 8 here. But additionally, the 5 resolved this. And now we need 5 and 9 on this quadruple. And there are only two cells left. The 5 tells us the order. The 9 feeds down here, so this is 7. We still need a 9, and we still need a 2. And the 5 here also resolves this. And these are going to be 1 and 5. We can't resolve the 1 and 5, but the 1 and 5 do look up to make this a 3. So we have now almost resolved all of the quads. We just have this one pair left. And so let's finish these boxes. We need 7 and 8 in this box, but there's an 8 here and a 7 down here. We need 1 and 4 here. There's a 1 and a 4. We need 2 and 3 here. There's a 2 here and a three up here. Here we need five and six. There's a six and a five here, so five, six. And that five is gonna look over here. So just resolve our pair. So we've done all of the corner boxes. Now we can look at our other Rin band lines. So these three digits are three, five, and seven, but we have a four on this line. So these must be three and five to make a three, four, five set. And this is seven. This line has a three and a four on it. The remaining digits are two, five, and eight. Obviously eight can't go on here. We have to have the two, five, or two, three, four, five, leaving an eight in the last cell. Six 
we have 5, 7, and 3. So these have to be 5 and 7. This is 3. And actually the 7 here goes 5 and 7. The 3 goes 5 and 3. And then this line, we have 8, 9, and 2. The 2 can't go on the line. So we get 8, 9 here. And now the 8 resolves the 9, 8. And the 2 resolves the 5, 2. All very smooth. And now we'll just fill in the remaining digits in these rows and columns. So this one can't be 1. These are 2, 4, and 6. These are 1, 3, and 4. That one can't be 1. These are 6, 7, 9. That one can't be 9. These are 1, 2, and 9. That one can't be 1. And these are 4, 6, 8. These are 5, 6, 7. This one can't be 5. And these are 1, 3, 4. And this one can't be 1. So that actually gives us a 3-4 pair here, but I'm going to focus on the rim bands. Um, this one is immediately resolved. 6 is not consecutive with another even digit. So this is something we use a lot in consecutive pairs puzzles with dots. Anytime you have two cells that have consecutive digits, one of them is even, one of them is odd. So since this is even, this has to be odd, it's a 7. Since this is even, this has to be odd. It's a 9 and a 6. Uh, and we can actually do a little better. 7 of these digits can only go next to 6. 9 has to go next to 8. All right, this is even. So it has to go next to an odd digit, but also 1 would need to go next to 2. And we don't have a 2 here, so this is 3, 4, because this is 6. It resolves 4 and 1. 1 here has to go next to 2. It gives us 4 here, 4 gives us 3, 4, 1, the 6 here and the 7 here are eliminated, this 2 is ruled out, I might be missing something, but I think we're going to have to look at the central box now, so we need 5, 7, and 9 here. And this column has a 5 and a 7, so that's our 9. There's a 5 here, so this is 7 and 5. That's going to resolve 6 and 7. Now across the middle, we need 2, 3, and 5. We have 2 and 5 here. We have 5 and 3 here, so that's our 5. The 2 here means this is the last place for 2 in the box. These are 4, 6, and 8. And we have 4 and 6 in the middle. That's going to give us 8 and 9. We have a 6 here, so this is 4 and 6. And then our 9 gives us 1 and 8 and 9 and 1. And that is how you solve basketball shoes by Bill Murphy.